had this idea yesterday that I was gonna do this. I'm gonna try cold therapy today properly, but I'm gonna do it in the sea because I don't have a nice bucket. I've been taking cold showers every day now. Being like the last 30 seconds of my shower, what I do is I turn it to cold. Showering that I'm able to not like scream when I take the shower. <laughs> the first time when I did it, I was literally like in there for like not even a second. I think I still had soap over my body. I really submerge myself in the cold. I'm gonna be freezing. I feel like it'll work better for me. I wanna properly practice the Wim Hof method. I'm not even focused on my breathing when I'm doing it in the shower. If I do it in the sea where I know it's gonna be cold, we'll do it properly. I will concentrate on my breathing. It's not actually cold. It's actually kind of t-shirt weather, I guess you could say. I know the sea's gonna be freezing though. And I'm probably gonna have to go quite far out to actually get the full effect of me fully submerging into the sea. <laughs> was actually so fun. I only lasted two or three minutes in there. But that was so fun. Um, I feel alive. I'm glad I did it. I'm probably glad I did it. The goal was to come here and just stood on something. The goal was to come here every single day, try at least submerge myself into the water. I managed to go up to here, but that was with like the waves hitting me as well. I feel like I went in pretty deep. Obviously, I don't really want to go in any deeper. The waves look like that. Oh my God, the sun just went in my mouth. The waves look like they're getting a little bit bigger. I just want to be a bit careful. I'm pretty pleased with myself doing it for like the first time. And it's freezing cold. Alone, I'm up north as well. Doing it down south, it's a lot more warm. Most people down south, like in Cornwall especially, they would already be in the sea by now. Here is so much more colder. I think one thing that I do prefer actually going into the sea, I think I prefer doing it that way rather than cold showers. Even though I'll probably continue to help ease you into doing things like this. The amount of sand I've got in my bag is actually disgusting. I just panicked. Wow, it's very dark over here. A minute ago, just had a mini panic attack. Thought I broke my camera. Realized it was because it was on the wrong setting. Yeah, that's why I couldn't zoom out. It up to my face and I couldn't work out how to like go back. I'm just preparing to go for the beach. Gonna put some conditioner in my hair. Oh my God, I feel like everybody's hopping on this trend now. The Wim Hof method. Since I started doing it, I started to see loads of people on Instagram doing the same thing. Cold water therapy for like in the shower. Just wear Wherever you can practice cold therapy, people are doing it more and more. And it's actually good to see that. There's so many benefits go in the cold water. So it is currently at half six in the morning and I've decided to come to the beach because I'm gonna go in the sea. Already there's like loads of people already down there. It looks cold. <laughs> they look freezing. Um, and the waves are kind of big as well. Probably because of the full moon that we've just had, having even much kind of nervous. So I think I'm just gonna run in. I don't know how we're gonna do this. I'm procrastinating. It looks cold, let alone it's half six in the morning. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I just guess we're just gonna have to do it. But I feel pretty confident the fact that there's other people there, like there's a lot of women down there that have already got bikinis on and that are already doing this. I mean, I'll be fine once I get in. Today I wanted to spend the entire day meditating on the beach. I wanted to go in the sea as well. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. That was so fun. The waves are definitely really, really, really fucking strong. Like, oh my God. The one thing it has taught me is that it's all just different sensations no matter how cold I am in there. I'm always going to warm up when I come back out. You know, it's at the time it feels, oh my god, this is freezing, get me out. But then it's kind of, you might as well just stay in because it's all just different sensations. Just make you realise in a matter of probably however long you stay in there for until you get out, it's all going to be gone. And then that's it. <laughs> the waves are strong and it's even it's so hard to time it when to get in and when to relax yeah it's a bit crazy out there this full moon i think but it's actually not that cold it's not actually that bad as soon as i got in i was actually it's that it's actually kind of warm in there it's just frustrating because the waves are so big it's crazy crazy <laughs> i'm probably gonna dry myself off and then probably do some yoga
I realise I haven't actually made like an intro to this video. I feel like getting cold showers and going to the beach and practicing cold therapy isn't exactly something that you can't see it happening physically so I don't feel like people do it because when you can't see physical changes happening to yourself you get a bit of why would you do it you're just putting yourself through stress of it being cold really it's like the internal changes that it's making one thing that I have definitely learned my mind can sometimes take over a lot of what I do and I think that's with everything I think I will carry on doing this a mental challenge and it makes me feel good afterwards knowing that i did that overcoming my mind was telling me oh my god it's freezing why the hell would you want to do that why the hell would you want to wake up at 6 a.m in the morning to go in the sea when you're in there you feel so at peace and it makes me realize how connected we are to nature and i guess it makes me feel like it's like a bit of gratitude really gratitude for the earth what's around me on this beach today there's loads of women here doing the same thing and it makes me realize when i look at everybody that is in the sea with me that mental connection of like we all know like what we're trying to do who else would want to do this it's 6 a.m who the hell in the right mind would want to do this out of choice unless you have researched the physical and internal benefits and you would be like why would I come here? Like, I'd rather just stay in bed. This is the book that I've been reading. It's the Wim Hof Method, how to do this correctly. Straight away took cold showers. I started going to the beach. From being at the beach, feel like all of these other healthy habits have kind of evolved in themselves. Wake up early and like look forward to the day. Waking up early allowed me to eat healthier. A chain effect of like, a healthier cycle and living a healthier life everything's kind of just fallen into place i'm actually happier and i'm looking forward to the morning I continue doing a lot more during my day as well because of the early mornings i've now got so much more time during my day to complete the tasks i need to do would i recommend this yeah well, it's a bit scary because you have no choice <laughs> i kind of like to like ease myself in and like slowly gradually go in nah the waves today just took me out <laughs> oh never bitch <laughs> made me feel so much more positive about my day even if i'm not feeling of the best of moods when i wake up getting that cold shower opens up your lungs i just feel healthier i don't know how to explain it until you try it you will understand <laughs> i'm gonna end this video here cold therapy is amazing